unfortunate task of trying to upset Reflex, but I think either <laughs> player making it this far clearly established themselves as a dangerous threat. Oh yeah, you cannot sleep on Yuno. He, uh, at, I think it was the last What the Fox, he ended up putting Jester in losers. Gotcha, and Yuno is the Fox? He, yes, okay. Yuno is the Fox from Middle Tennessee. Versus Dr. Copter, the Greninja main. Interesting. Um, this is one you might see Dr. Like, if Dr. Copter sets up a footstool at the beginning of this of this set, you might see some style points come out. Okay, if this man does any of the Greninja footstool jank, I will be so happy. Yeah. I, I love watching that. You basically just, like, I've we have a we have a Greninja in North Carolina, Don Quavius, that is very, very capable of pulling up the full stuff, you know, grinds on Wi-Fi all the time. Okay. Every time I see that start happening, I literally just go, Greninja things. <laughs> I, I this is going way too fast for me to actually say what's going on. He's doing Greninja things. <laughs> exactly. Alright, but this is winter semis, uh I think guaranteed top six in your pool. I believe so. One, two, three, four. No, top eight, excuse me. Top eight in your pool. All right, and the loser of this will have to face off against Saren. We see, you know, rocking those gunners. And you <laughs> that quick button check on Woohoo. You know, this used to be legal. Oh. When was this legal? Like, oh, what, are you, what is Tennessee gosh. doing? No, man, it was like the beginning days, like whenever, like you know, Lilat was legal. And Lilat's still legal. Not, not, not Lilat. Um, Delfino. Uh, not, uh, Delfino and Halberd were legal. Bring back Delfino, please. Oh my gosh, Yo, no! Are oh, you coming from the Rosalina, mate? No. Okay. We know what happens. Okay, bring back Halberd. <laughs> whenever I used pre-patch Luigi and I down threw down B at Pikachu at 40 and it died, I knew then this stage needs to be gone. <laughs> So it was earlier it was earlier today that I was talking about. I would like to see, and this is like a mini soapbox, I would like to see on a national level we make a movement to have a uh, custom uh, Pokemon Stadium 2 that you would see from PM uh -huh. and use that in replacement of Lilat. That would be very interesting. You know, I think. just a no hazards PS2. I think that would work really well. But, you know, it's it's probably not gonna happen. So nice. into game one, we see the up there, uh, up up there, up tilt, excuse me. Rapid jab, you know, just all the stage control in the world for uh, a Dr. Copter right now. This is definitely interesting. This is a Tennessee boy I'm not really familiar with, but I have Middle Middle Tennessee hasn't really been doing much recently. So yeah, from what I've heard, the Murfreesboro the Murfreesboro scene starting to dim a little bit. Yeah, it's not looking too good, but the Memphis and Knoxville scene are still like holding strong. That's always good to see. I mean, especially as a game advances, you have you have to be able to just work your way. Through the through the slog of you know like the meta developing. Oh yes, exactly. You can get behind so quick. Great. The meta could be one thing in like two weeks ago, and then you know it can change just Something like that. Completely different. And speaking of dimming, the lights go low over top of us. Hopefully, there's no electrical problems going on. But back to this game, you know, as a slight lead right now. Great roll there to avoid the up smash. But gets the falling there into the up smash on no tech. Definitely an interesting option. Uh. Let's see. That that nair is uh -oh. going low. No tech. All right. Wow. Greninja's nair is very very interesting. I don't really know how big that hitbox is, but it's very. Uh, what's the I, word I, I tell you, the one thing I like the most about the nair, it has a little bit of space around it. Needed to your question about how big the hitbox is. Yeah. But uh, if you look at the cooldown frames on that thing, it's hilarious. It's like 30 or 40 frames. Really? It's forever, man. I'll, I, I'll, wow. I'll, I'll pop up Kurgan in between games, but yeah, it's it's a hilarious. Our Greninja can double jump nair, and by the time you get back down to the stage, is when you can start acting. That's it's hilarious. Wow. It's it's super funny, but it is such a great tool in neutral because you're able to cancel it halfway through too. Well, just. Uh, F tilt into F smash. Yeah, Yuno's getting a little too uh, too pushy. He's just trying to go in. Yeah, and after get a, stuff. After a pretty successful stock one, he actually finds himself at a pretty decent deficit right now. However, he does have Dr. Copper airborne. Oh yeah, Fox's advantage state is nothing to sniff at. It's it's ridiculous, especially if he has you above him. Down tilt there, Dr. Copper wisely using his double dump to survive. Great di away from there from Yuno. No follow ups. Ooh, the over commitment with a down air. Down air in neutral, man. It's rough. I guess because he thought that Yuno was going to dash attack, which he the read was calculated because Yuno was dash attacking a lot. You know, I've been in that situation the most, and it's this really tough feeling. It's like, man, the risk I took was calculated, but boy, am I bad at math. <laughs> yes. 
All right, where will we go for game two? You see Yuno looking over the stage list for a little bit here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So Nair comes out on frame 12. Okay. The first actionable frame afterwards is frame 65. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's hilarious. <laughs> it's one of those things that make you go, what? Why? <laughs> Oh, wow. So FD is the pick. I'm actually a little bit curious about this because Greninja will be able to space out a little bit, but I feel like Fox actually does pretty well on this stage with his own speed. Oh, there's that. I forget what that tech is called with Greninja's side B. So what it is is the Shadow Sneak is, is allows him to get out of light knockback moves. Okay, that So makes any sense. kind of multi-hit thing he normally can escape from. Yeah, that's why Greninja does so well against Bayo. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's actually super, super silly. Like, if a, if a Bayo, like, makes the mistake of trying to combo a Greninja off the top, you can immediately just Shadow Sneak and kill them at, like, sub 10%. Like, it's really rough. That's crazy. Dash attack up air right there, 77 to 46. You know, uh, using this counter pick to his advantage right now, Dr. Copter opting to go to FD, but it's looking a little bit in their fa his favor right now. Yeah, Dr. Copter seems to be covering all of Yuno's options on the ledge. Definitely having a hard time, and just gets back with a get-up attack. Man, they are both like swinging for the fences, but it looks like you know swung. Yeah. Just so the right way. what happened there is Greninjas can actually use all eight gates to use Shadow Sneak. You can go in any direction. Okay. He went for the forward Shadow Sneak. If he had sh uh, Shadow Sneak downwards, he might have been able to hit Dr. Copter, but instead put himself in a massive amount of lag and got eaten alive by that up smash. Ooh, trying to get that air dodge. Oh, great weight there. But unfortunately, uh, Yuno did not air dodge. Copter was expecting it. Yuno didn't give it that to him. He couldn't, didn't have time to let the F smash or the forward air rip. Down smash on ledge will be enough. That jab throw. was definitely not intentional. He tried to. He ended up turning it around on accident. Oh, the juggles though. Yeah, um, I was gonna question maybe the the lasers in the iframes, but you know his follow up afterwards has been fantastic. Oh yeah, that's one thing that Yuno's really good at. Once he's an advantage man, you're taking so much damage. Oh boy, he keeps on that keeps on happening, and Doctor Copter keeps on dropping that punish. Perfect shield on the nair allows Yuno to re-establish re control of this game. Jab F smash. It's actually I believe it's jab one two that Fox needs to do the F smash with, or the up smash with. However, up smash and neutral, pretty good too. Just do it. So, you know, 2-0 over Dr. Copter, advancing to play against Reflex Wonder. Oh, man. That was... <laughs> just do it. Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's rough. It. All right. So I believe we're going to move in.